Hello, this is Olivia. I'm the founder of the Academy of Botanical Art, sharing art tips with you today from our program, 10 Steps, A Course in Botanical Art and Illustration. Today's tip, sfumato, the continuous tone stroke and five elements of geometric form. The sfumato stroke is a stroke made famous by Leonardo da Vinci. It is a very soft stroke and it also is something called continuous tone. When we apply this stroke, we're talking about very, very soft edges or continuous tone. We can draw our pencil this way as I'm demonstrating. We can cross hatch back over it. If we do sort of small elliptical things, we just have to avoid things looking like boiled wool. And so we end up with this very soft textured look that we can build upon. If you take a look at these leaves here, and so here we did this stroke very, very gently, building up the stroke. The more applications of graphite, the darker the values will become. When we talk about the five elements of geometric form, we start with the first element, which is contour, and it reveals the general shape. And as you can see on the leaves in this drawing, we have the general shape. Step two, or the second element, reveals highlights. The highlights are where the subject parts are closest to the light and where parts protrude, as in the leaf. These are convex leaf sections that are created by the venation in the leaf, and so they would be rising above, contacting some of the light, and the dips in between would be these shadows. And so as you begin to do the work in toning the leaf, you're thinking about how that light source is and how you would be applying this soft, gentle stroke. The third element where we start to develop the piece further is when the mid-level shadows are formed. And so here we want to develop the leaf even further, so we apply the shadows even more, developing more and more the values in context with where the piece of the subject is in the whole picture plane. The fourth element of geometric form is what we call the cast shadow. The cast shadow is the result of the subject standing in the way of light. The forward subject casts a shadow on that which is behind. So if you take a look at the way this leaf is curled up here, it's actually creating a little dip. Dips are dark, and we are creating a little bit of a cast shadow here. The fifth element of geometric form is reflected light. And reflected light is the answer to separating two or more subjects. The reflected light is the result of light bouncing back against the overlapping portion of the subject that is in front. In the case of the two apples, we can see one apple is casting a shadow on the second apple, and that light that's hitting the second apple is bouncing back and creating a low light, a low light here, which is never as bright as the highlight here. In the case of the leaf, this little curl of a leaf is folding forward, creating a wonderful cast shadow here in order to show you that that action is actually happening. We have a tiny bit of reflected light that is curling on the edge of the, of the, of the leaf to show you that separation of that edge of the leaf from its cast shadow. So here we've got the reflected light on the edge. Reflected light will take the form of the subject. In this case, it's a very linear light. In the case of the apple, it's more of a moon shape. Thank you for joining us. To learn more about the Academy, visit us online, academyofbotanicalart.com. 